Hello. Hello indeed. And welcome to my Super Mario 64 playthrough. That's right, everybody. I'm going to be doing a playthrough on none other than Super Mario 64. So, how about we get started? So which file should we do? How about we do D? Why not? Okay, here we go. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Each. So, let's get started. So there's Lakitu. Flying in with the scoop. So that's right. The uh, video game I project I mentioned I'd be starting in my one year anniversary video is none other than Super Mario 64. And here comes the pesky plumber himself, Mario. There he is. Let's go, shall we? See how you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle. Viva a warp pipe using the controller is a piece of cake, and then it goes over the controls. I don't think you guys would care about the controls. Here comes Lakitu with his camera on his fishing pole. Good afternoon. The Lakitu Bros here reporting, reporting live from just outside of Princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As as seasoned cameramen will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the angle by blah 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 blah. It just goes over the controls that you guys probably don't care about. So basically, the Lakitus are going to be filming us just like a reality TV show. Now, before we go into the side of the castle, I just want to show you guys around a little bit, just in case you haven't ever played this game, which is highly unlikely it's been around so long. So over here we just got the moat and some more grass. Down there we got a lake. Over there we got a cannon that we can't open until we get 120 stars. Then up here. Then over there we just got more moat, more grass. It's pretty basic. So, let's head inside the castle, shall we? Welcome! Now no one's home! Now scram! And don't come back! Gwahahaha! So that was most likely Bowser who said that. Anyway, so here we are. The front room to Peach's castle. First order of business, talk to this toad. Dun dun brr. Am I glad to see you? The princess and I and I and well everybody were all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has followed the castle's stars and he's using their power to create a sad world at the <coughs> Matrix's walls. Let's recover the power stars. I see find them. Yet they use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor. Started the one with the painting of Bob Bob's inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys around real quick. So, we got doors. This one has a three on it, which you might be able to tell. It's a little hard to see, but this door right here has a three on it. Meaning we need three power stars to open this door. This door right here has only uh, one power star on So we, once we get one power star, we can open that door. Now these doors right here we can open. We're, we're not going to go through those doors for a few more episodes. Then over here, now this door, we need a key to open. Then this door over here, like Toad said, we need eight stars to open. Anyway, so let's go through the only door that isn't sealed. The one that leads to our first course, bob on Battlefield. The tickle. the tickle. Anyway, so our first mission is Big bob -omb on the Summit. So bob on Battlefield. The pink bob -ombs are our friends. The black bob -ombs are our enemies. And, ugh. So basically what we have to do in this mission, and oh my god, I keep getting hit by that fucking Goomba. Anyway, so like I said, what we have to do in this mission is we have to go battle the big bob -omb on the top of the summit. Pretty simple and straightforward. I'm just gonna watch out for Chain Chop here. Restore some health. And we gotta watch out for those giant water things that look like, I don't even know what they look like, a fat lady's belly maybe? 
discombobulated from the rest of her body. I don't know. I don't want to get into the gross stuff with you guys. This is a video game, not a porno. Do 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 do. Let's see here. There we go. So yes, there are a few teleporting tricks. One of them is in the flower patches, which I'll probably show you guys on the next mission. And that one is where if you go into the lower one, you'll be teleported to the upper, uh, like, distributor of the, uh, giant balls, the giant black cannonballs. And it also works vice versa. I'm the big bob I'm lord of all blasting matter, king of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have in looted my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think you cannot. So yeah, he basically just told us his weakness. What a doof. Well, he is the first mission, so you have to be kind of easy. So basically what you have to do is you just have to get behind him and press B to pick him up by the hindquarters and just toss him onto the ground. Now make sure that he doesn't pick you up and throw you, because if he throws you off the mountain, then you have to start the whole boss over again and he'll like restore all his health and crap. So yeah. Also, um, yes, yeah, so you have to do this three times. And also, if you throw him off, I don't think that does any damage. Unfortunately, he didn't throw me off there, so that's basically how he throws you, so it's basically the same thing. Let's just pick him up. And he basically makes a wop noise every time he falls, like, Arr! just like the booze do, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. around him. And there we go. We did it. What? What? Can it be that a pimp squeak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Myth makes my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star, this star from the menu for now. Farewell! So yes, you can redo missions. That is possible, but honestly, I, get, I think you would only want to do that just in case you're like redoing the game for fun. Just like rereading books. Only it's way more fun. So with that, we have our first power star. Well, one down, 119 to go. Okay, now that we have one power star, we can open up a few more doors. And let's see, I think we have time to get one more power star. Okay, our second mission is Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. Now before we do that, I'm going to open up the cannon that we will need for future missions. We're peace-loving bob so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we won't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all of the cannons in the course for you to use. Bon voyage! So basically what he does is he just opens up the cannon for us, so now we can access it. Because believe me, we will need to use these uh, cannons for later missions. Anyway, so right here we have Koopa the Quack. Hey, Mario! Is it true that you beat the Big bob Cool! You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast do you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the big bob was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Don't go. I mean go. That's just kind of funny. It's like, ready, set, don't go. So, basically what you have to do is you just have to run to the top. And you know what's kind of funny? Teleporting tricks are allowed, which is actually kind of cool. So you're allowed to use teleporting tricks, but you're not allowed to use cannons. If you blast yourself through a cannon, then Koopa says you cheated. But if you use the teleporting tricks, uh, he doesn't say you cheated. But something that's kind of unfair is Koopa can run up really steep slopes and you can't, so I guess it evens it out that we can use teleporting tricks and he can run up steep slopes. It just kind of makes it fair. Don't you think that? Anyway, so let's just... Teleporting trick here. There we go. Just run around up here. 
And there we go. We won. Now all we have to do is wait for Koopa the Quick to get up here. Look, da 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 da. Waiting for a slow ass Koopa to come and find me. This music is awesome. knows that video games cheat, so sometimes when life cheats, you have to cheat back, just like I did in this mission. So there we go. So yeah, do expect me to cheat my way through a couple of the missions, because I'm not the best at Super Mario 64. Well, that concludes our first episode of Super Mario 64, where we got our first star, our first two stars. Now, next episode, we will most likely be getting more than two stars on the account of we had to go through the introduction this episode. So, yeah, see you next time.